Want to look like the best? Then get their gear. The USA Swimming National Team collection from Arena, Tier, plus a whole lot more. Available at SwimOutlet.com, the official online shop of USA Swimming. Uh, probably the probably the butterflies, I'd say. You know, I was a little a little off in my freestyles. You know, I wanted my 200 to be faster. I just need to give myself more time in that. But I was happy with the flies, and uh, I couldn't ask for more. You know, I came into the meet. I think it was like a 52 too, so I'm happy with that. Olympic champion Caleb Dressel has a vertical leap of 41 inches. That's 11 inches over the average NC2A D1 basketball player. We don't have those metrics on swimmers, but 41 inches is sick. It's flying. Dressel's got snap, fast twitch fibers. Why is he swimming the 200 meter freestyle? I think it can be one of my good events. I just need more experience in it. So that was my first fast final I think I've ever swam for the 200 free long course. So, you know, I'm, I'm really excited. I think that can be a good event for me and I don't want to limit myself. I know my limitations, but I don't want to limit what I can do. A sprinter can fake a 200 yard freestyle, but not a 200 meter freestyle. I've known as Coach Greg Troy, the great professor of honest swimming since I was a child. I'm old. That's a long time. Asking him for the 411 on Dressel, he's very plain spoken. Mel, you know he's fast. What you need to know, he's got the base to go far. So what is Dressel? Can he be labeled strictly a sprinter? What does Dressel think? I don't know. I, I, like I said, I don't, I don't really want to be labeled as anything. You know, I'm definitely a speed guy. It really knows that. Sure. So I, I saw I swim most of my races. You know, in 200, I was out fast. So I just want to swim a smart race. I don't want to be labeled as a sprinter who just goes out yeah. wicked fast and just dies. You know, I want to. I want to be a speed guy who knows how to control and swim his races correctly. After Dressel's 40 flat 100 yard freestyle at the NC2A Championships this past spring, was he happy with his 100 meter freestyle win at US World Trials? Or did he think he'd be faster? Oh no, I'm, I'm very happy with it. Um, you know, each, each 100 I swim is just more and more experience. And to be right there with Nathan, you know, makes me feel good. So I'm just happy to be going one, two with him again. 100 butterfly, Joe Schooling, just saying. <laughs> on, um, so yeah. I knew that was coming. You're now the fastest 100 butterflyer in the world. But 53 and 100 butterflyer on the same day at World Championships. Will you do both to swim your bowls, buddy? Just schooling. Um, you know, we train to swim doubles, so I'll probably swim both. Dressel Star is burning bright for Team USA. With seven events at World Championships, how Dressel feels about getting up on the block and racing so much, it's gonna make age group coaches and age group summers really proud. Listen to this. It's been good, you know, I've done it as an age grouper, I've done it in C2As. I don't think it's anything different than what I've been put with before. So, you know, not too nervous about it. It should just be like a regular meet. We get 15 minutes of Dressel being a compassionate, humble guy. We know that, so we cut it out. He did reveal a little bit of edge. Not making the U.S. Olympic team in the 50 meter freestyle, that affected him. Winning 50 meter freestyle at U.S. World Trials, that helps. A little. In the comments below, make your World Championships predictions. But listen to Dressel's comments first. Well, with trials, you know, I've had nightmares about that race. It really bugged me, uh, not making the team in that. So this one felt really good, and I was happy with that. gotten asked like a million times. I'm fading it out right now. I'm working out to do a full sleeve with the artist who did my gator and the flag and oranges on my forearm. So it'll just flow nicer with everything. I just want to have one artist. I'm being picky, but it's going to be on me the rest of my life. So I think that's something to be all right about being picky about. <laughs>